Jai Gurudev Sangeeta Ji, thank you for joining us today. Let us start with the story you have shared before, a memorable moment with Gurudev. Could you recount that night of hard work and the lesson you learned the, the next day? Absolutely, it was a night where we had been working tirelessly and each one of us felt the weight of our efforts. We discussed amongst ourselves how much work we had done, how exhausted we were and all the challenges we had faced. It felt like we had really given our all. It sounds like a very intense night. What happened the next morning? The next morning something unexpected happened. Someone came knocking at our door saying that Gurudev was calling us. We were excited and proud, thinking that was acknowledging our hard work. So we all went to his kutir with a sense of anticipation. And what was Gurudev's response? He made us sit at the back of the kutir. We sat there feeling happy and proud. But as time passed, our pride began to wane. Hours went by. One hour, two hours, then three hours, we were uncomfortable fidgeting on the floor, which was just covered with simple mats. The kutir itself was quite basic, a round room with a small cot and a folding baby chair, where Gurudev would sit a little table in front of him. It must have been challenging to wait for so long. What was going on around you? There was a continuous stream of people coming in with their requests and problems. Gurudev was incredibly patient, listening to each person and addressing their concerns. From blessing a daughter's marriage to advising on a broken water tank, he attended to everyone with such dedication. Meanwhile, we were sitting there, enduring the heat and discomfort, thinking he would take a break for lunch, but he didn't. How did he feel during those long hours? We were restless and impatient by six o'clock. I couldn't take it any more. I suggested to Gurudev that he should get some fresh air and go for a walk. He looked at me and smiled and said, I think I will meditate. But before leaving, he stopped, looked at us, all of us sitting there and said, this is called working. Then he walked away. That must have been a humbling experience. It was. We felt so small, realizing how trivial our complaints were compared to his constant selfless service. From that day on, none of our ever claimed to work hard in front of Gurudev. Observing him made us understand the true meaning of dedication and work. That's a powerful lesson. Before we wrap up, could you share a brief story about your first birthday after meeting Gurudev? Of course, it was in the Bangalore ashram, which at that time had very few rooms and mostly thatched structures. Even a dining area and kitchen were basic, with tin roofs and cooking done on the floor. It was a simple, yet deeply fulfilling celebration, and I'll always cherish how those humble beginnings were filled with so much warmth and grace. Thank you, Sangeeta Ji, for sharing these profound experiences. Your stories offer valuable insights into the life and teachings of Gurudev. Thank you. It is always a joy to recount these mem- memories and share Gurudev's wisdom. Jai Gurudev.